Sorry for the kind of weird angle. I'm sitting on the bed and I have you guys on the headrest because that's the best place I could figure out to set up my camera. So we're here in Los Angeles with my brother and his family and I started two of the books on the plane yesterday and I wanted to give you guys an update. So the first one I started was A Cross Country Christmas. So in this book we meet Lauren and she has a fear of flying. Plus she doesn't have a great family relationship so she doesn't go home very often but she is close with her brother Spencer and his wife is going to have a baby and he begs her to come home for Christmas. Well, Lauren has a fear of flying, so she won't get on an airplane. She needs to get from California to Illinois, and the trains have sold out, and they're really not a lot of good options. Well, Spencer's best friend, Will, also lives in California and happens to be going home to Illinois for Christmas, so Spencer arranges for Lauren and Will to drive across the country together. Now, Lauren has a really bad impression of Will. He was very much like a playboy kind of guy in high school. Um, really like schmoozed girls, that feels awkward to say, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, parted a little bit too much. And it's hinting that like something happened between them, but we don't know what it is yet. And so she hates him. <laughs> and she's so mean to him on the car ride. And he, when it's dual POV, which is amazing because when we see his perspective, he talks about how he knows that he made bad choices when he was younger and he's grown up a lot and he wishes that she could see that. And on this trip, they're just going to a lot of places that are really historical and significant, like, you know, the traditional drive across the country route and she's starting to fall for him. It's a really good book. The only thing I don't like is she's a little dramatic, especially to be in like, I'm pretty sure she's in her late 20s and she's like, I think I'm falling for him and that's scaring me to death. And I'm like, okay, like, come on. He's your brother's best friend. Like it's, he's not a serial killer. Um, so she's just a tad bit dramatic and a tad bit mean, although she's very type A and I'm type A, so I get that. So I don't love her, but he is amazing and it's a really good book. But the other one, Oh my god, it is phenomenal. So this is Holiday Romance. So in this book, we meet Molly and Andrew, and they have been flying home on the last flight from Chicago, home to Ireland for the last 10 years. Well, this time, a freak snowstorm grounds their plane so they can't fly home. Molly's not into the holidays at all, but Andrew lives for the Christmas holiday with his family back home. And she just makes it her mission to get him home. Uh, I read about half of this book and already, so they can't fl fly out of Chicago to Ireland because of the snowstorm, but they have worked workarounds. They have flown to Atlanta. They have flown to Argentina. They have gone over to Paris. Then they've gone to London and they're like traveling around the world trying to avoid this massive snowstorm to get him home in time for the holiday and they've been friends for 10 years and she's starting to have feelings for him and I started reading this when I was in the Chicago airport and I feel like that's really cool because this book opens up in the Chicago airport and they're sitting at the gate saying their flight is canceled and like I just just being in an airport kind of made me appreciate like you know that entire atmosphere so this one is so so good but honestly they're both perfect picks for the start of this california christmas reading vlog
it's Christmas Eve and I'm just not giving you guys an update. I've gotten a lot of b-roll but haven't had time to come on camera so I finished a couple of books. The first one was A Cross Country Christmas. I did like this book overall but I still don't love the main character so it alluded the whole time that something had happened between the two of them when they were in high school and when I finally got to figuring out what it was I do understand when she was 17 why she got so offended because I would have when I was 17 as well but the fact that she was late 20s or early 30s and she still didn't have enough perspective basically nothing bad happened he just said something when he was drunk like come on when you are in your late 20s or early 30s you should definitely like be able to let that go a little bit like I mean she held a grudge and was mean to him over this dumb comment he made when he was 17 and so I was like really <laughs> that was it and he just was extraordinarily nice to her so the book was really good but I think he could do better so it wasn't the best but then after that I finished no I didn't finish after I finished that book I started The Nutty, The Nice, and The Nanny it's from the Holiday Brothers the first one now my friend Autumn told me that she did not like this book and I'm about halfway through so I'll give you guys an update on that one it's a pretty short novella I'm not disliking it I'm not loving it but don't worry this is not a bummer update because I finished Holiday Romance and I know that like when you finish a book you kind of have like like euphoria like it's the best book I've ever read but like it is probably the best Christmas book I have ever read it was just so beautiful and even like these books have to have a conflict right but like the conflict like logically made sense to me and the resolution was so beautiful the whole thing I absolutely adored I teared up a couple times at different things that happened in it it's just like will forever be one I go back to and I actually don't buy books that often but someone gave this to me and I'm really excited because this is one I could definitely see like I'm gonna travel to California every other Christmas for Christmas as long as my brother lives here and I could see this being like the book I take every time like kind of become a tradition that's how much I loved it so highly highly recommend this one and I'll give you an update on my ebook when I finish it maybe tonight maybe tomorrow It's the day after Christmas and I want to give you a quick update on what I read. So this was not in my California TBR video, but my husband and I do the 25 days of Christmas where we exchange little gifts every day. And the day that we flew out, he actually gave me a little novella that he found my night before Christmas. He said it just looked like something I would read and I thought that was adorable. It was like 80 pages really quick. It was a very sweet romance. Um, she kind of, it's like a second chance romance. I will say the plot was a little underdeveloped. Like even it, with it being a novella, I think if it had been more like 120 pages, like we'd had just a little bit more about the couple, I would have been more invested in them. Uh, but it was still sweet and it was like super sweet that he picked it out for me. And then on my Kindle, I started, uh, oh my gosh, I forget what the name of it is, but guys, it is spicy it is so spicy so it's the book that somebody on tiktok recommended the author meet me in los feliz that's what it's called meet me in los feliz and the author happened to comment on a tiktok and was like hey check out my novella holy smokes it is so spicy it's just kind of like a i don't know if i would call it a meet cute but they just meet at like this like kind of random hodgepodge thanksgiving dinner and they keep running into each other in la and it's very good i'm about 40% of the way through. It's really, really good. So I will give you guys an update on that when I finish it. 
and then let me tell you my reading plan. So hard to believe, but we are at the end of our trip. We've been here for a week. We fly out tomorrow afternoon, and so I had a TBR, and I think I'm actually going to do most of it. So I added two books in the middle, so I've really prioritized reading on this trip, which I've loved. So the Los Feliz book, I've got about an hour and 15 minutes left. I'll read it tonight and tomorrow morning. I'll probably finish it in the airport waiting to get on the plane. And then we have about a four and a half hour ride back. I have another novella called Baggage Claim. That I'm going to read half of that on the plane. And then The Holiday Swap is the other book that I brought. So by the time I make it back to Virginia tomorrow night, I should have a decent dent in the last two books of the TBR. And then we can read those and then by the end of the week we'll have finished not just the five books I planned for this vacation but actually seven books and as someone who really finds reading to be super relaxing and helps me when I'm maybe feeling just off of my routine I'm so glad that I was able to read so much on this trip but I will check in with you again tomorrow morning maybe from the airport maybe from here we'll see but good night for now I'm coming on many days later to close out this vlog. So first, I did finish Baggage Claim. I absolutely loved it. I am so glad that I picked this one to be the last one of the vlog. It was just super engaging. It was great on the plane. It was a nice relaxing read as I got back. There was family drama. I kind of picked up on what it was, but I thought it was just really well done and I highly recommend it. It's a fake dating storyline and it's just what I, I think what I like most about it is that the ending with the family drama doesn't end on like the neatest package so it seemed much more realistic to me and I just really enjoyed the whole thing. So put it on your list for next year and then on my list for next year is going to be the holiday swap. So you did see some b-roll I think I remember to film that of me reading this on the plane. I did start it and I am enjoying it and I do feel kind of bad because my husband went and bought this for me because I wanted to read both of Maggie Knox's books back to back. So my plan was to read The Holiday Swap coming home from the trip and then I was going to read All I Want for Christmas in this last week of Christmas and I just I have too many books on my plate. I ended up working more than I thought. And I found myself rushing through this one to get this one in. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to rush through books that are supposed to be super good just for the sake of getting them done. So I'm actually going to save these till next year. So it'll be nice. I actually pack my Christmas books with my Christmas decorations. So that way they don't take up space in my bookcase. Because I don't have a lot of space in my bookcase. So I'll pack these up. And then when we take all of our totes out in November to start decorating, I can pull out the books and have my first Christmas 2023 reads. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I did get some more clips this time than I did during my beach vlog in October, but I'm still really new to YouTube. So the idea of like filming in front of other people is a little nerve wracking, but hopefully the vlogs will get better as we go on. And I hope you enjoy coming to California with me over Christmas. Mm -hmm.